Hi Hawks, welcome back. Today, as you can see, we're in my art room um, and I have a special guest here with me today. This is Adam Warren. He has a daughter here who is a hawk and he has a really cool hobby. He is into photography, you, mostly film, yeah? Yes. Okay, so I wanted to have him here today to talk to you a little bit about some differences in types of cameras, um, some of the technicalities of photography, and he's, he's the master, so I'm going to let him take it away. Thank you for being here, Adam. No problem, thanks. Uh, we've got two different kinds of film cameras here. We've got a rangefinder camera where you look through a little hole, and then a a uh, camera, more like a DSLR camera, like your modern cameras and digital cameras where you look through a mirror. These film cameras take film, you guessed it. They don't take memory cards like a modern camera. Here's a digital camera. So all of the pictures on a digital camera are stored on a little memory card that you can put into your, your computer and access the photos that way. And that'll hold probably about 500 photos at least. This holds 36, that's it. You may be able to squeeze 37 in there. But uh, it has chemicals on the, on the paper, and then when you load it into your camera, Something I'm definitely wanting to watch him do because I have a film camera very similar to his that I have not used in a long time so I've kind of forgotten how all of this works. You just load it in like that, close it back. Once you've got it, once the film has been exposed to light you can't use that film anymore. So we'll take it a couple pictures to get it wound up until you're camera says a one on the shutter or on the uh, meter right here and then you're ready to take 36 photos that's all you get once you're take all your 36 photos and notice you have to crank it every photo and you don't know what those pictures look like until you actually there's get... no screen yeah you just got to look through the little window line it up manually focus most of these are manual focus lenses they have Focus it like this, just twisting the lens. There's all different types of lenses for different ranges, mm -hmm. different distances. These are prime lenses. This is just a 40 millimeter. This is a 50. That's a zoom lens. It's a 70 to 200, so that'd be good to take pictures of birds or sports photography or anything like that. And once you've taken your 36 photos, it won't crank anymore. So you just use your little crank, crank up your photos. So you're actually winding them back into the little film canister. You gotta push the little button on the bottom. Every camera's different. That basically puts it where your film can rewind. There. And you crank it all up. Now it's safe to open up your camera. Film cartridge is ready to go. And then all your photos in, are in here. Notice that the tab, we rolled up the tab. Most of them will have a little tab like that to load your film. So when the, the film tab is in there, that's usually a good indicator that you're, you've already shot this roll of film. So this one's ready to develop. You'll put it in the little canister. Yes. And then you will sometimes ship it off. There are still places that, that um, will develop film for you. Mm -hmm. Probably very few and far between now. But after you put it in the canister, then what do you yep. do with it? You uh, open up this canister, and there's a trick to that, because once this is exposed to light, it's gone. Like, you can't expose it to light, so you're going to have to get good at doing it in total darkness. Either take it in your bathroom with the lights off, not even a crack under the door, or they make a bag where you can do it in a bag, a dark bag, and you can just roll it up on this reel, put it in here in total darkness, and then once you got it like this, this is light safe. You can dump your chemicals in there. First you'll start with your developer. That starts the developing process and depending on how long uh, the chemicals are and how fat or what the, uh, the rating on the film is, the 100, 200, 400, that means how fast the film is, how sensitive it is to light, is how long you leave the developer in there. 
once the develop, once it's three minutes or five minutes, whatever it is, dump it out. Then you'll uh, use this stop. This stops the chemical reaction. Just 30 seconds, swirl it around, don't shake it, dump it out, and then you'll use a fixer. And that fixes the, uh, now it's a negative, a negative permanently, and it'll look something like one of these. This is a black and white negative film. So everything is opposite on a negative. So the colors are opposite, so everything black will be white once you scan it and process it and stuff. And this is a color negative film. And sometimes there's color positive film or slide film. And that actually is, looks like what the picture will look It'll like. look exactly like it. Yeah. The colors are exactly the same. So if you didn't add the stop, that's the stopper? Yep. If you didn't add that, would it would it be overexposed? Yes, it would just keep the chemical reaction with whatever developer is still on there would still be on there. You can take and uh, use some water to wash it off, but there'd still be some chemical in there. You need to use the stop to stop the chemical reaction. Okay, very cool. So where's your dark room? Where do you develop these if you do it yourself? Uh, I, ne I don't, I just develop the negatives to get it to the negative, oh, okay. and then I cheat and put it on a scanner. And then I put it on my computer. So hey, I don't think that's cheating. It's, it's innovation. <laughs> yeah. Um, I also have so I have my digital camera, my film camera. I also brought um, a Polaroid. It's not actually Polaroid brand. It's Fuji Film. But um, in a few minutes, we're going to show you how this one works. We're going to show you a time lapse of it developing because these you might be more familiar with these if you are familiar with film at all. Um, these are. It's meant to look like it's old, but this is actually new. And um, I know that a lot of you guys have some of these at home. So we'll show you that in a few minutes. But thank you so much for being no, here today no and bringing all of your gear. Um, I want to get back into it. I need to find a dark room. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> but thank you so much for bringing your knowledge, Adam. And no we'll see you in just a minute, Hawks. All right, Hawks. I'm going to use this Polaroid Fujifilm Insta-X Mini 90 camera to take an instant photo of our cameraman. Today, that is Coach Hunley. And then we are going to use the time-lapse feature to watch it develop. <laughs> 